Uh, my name is Musin Gethabi. I am a research economist with the Center for Applied Economic Research here at Oklahoma State University, affiliated with the Spears School of Business. Well, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, American, the, the White House has basically broken down how each state will be impacted by the American Jobs Act. And so Oklahoma should be getting somewhere close to $400 million in order to potentially save some 5,900 workers. Also, I mean, while Oklahoma has done very well relative to the rest of the states in terms of unemployment. Oklahoma's unemployment rate is about 5.6 percent relative to the 9.1 for the for the rest of the nation. There are some 97,000 people that are unemployed and so the extension of the unemployment benefits for those individuals is clearly going to be helpful. You also have you know uh, the median income in Oklahoma is somewhere around $46,000 those payroll tax savings, that means essentially because every Oklahoman, just about every Oklahoman, is going to be paying 3.1% in payroll taxes versus the 6.2, that's, you know, about $1,500 of extra take-home income for individuals, which should, in theory, increase demand because disposable income goes up for every individual. And from the business standpoint, again, at the margin, Due to the fact that there are measures in the act which attempt to encourage businesses by cutting the amount of tax that they pay in terms of business uh, payroll tax from 6.2 to 3.1, Oklahoma businesses should have additional incentives to hire uh, uh, employees. There are also measures in the act which target the long-term unemployed particularly, specifically meaning they give businesses an additional $4,000 if they were to hire somebody that's been unemployed for an extended period of time. 